Hello everyone, Voodoo here. Now I know I said video Wednesday, but it's Tuesday. Uh, we're gonna do a patch notes coverage video. Also, there's Goose uh, for Havoc and also Survival because there's not a lot of Havoc changes um, today. And then either Wednesday or Thursday, we're gonna do a video of me going over some changes I would make to Havoc. So that out of the way, uh, just patch content today. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here we are. And obviously if you like the content, make sure you like, comment and subscribe as well. Forgot to say that. I'm um, gonna try and cover a little bit more Survival Hunter as we go on here. Still a ton of Havoc content, but we're gonna mix that in. So first change is that they're actually reducing the effectiveness of Leech and Avoidance on gear uh, and a bunch of talents by about, as, by about 50% actually. And they also nerfed a bunch of talents that give you Leech and Avoidance. So Havoc now, 10% uh, for two points in Soul Rending, now only gives you 6%. So instead of 5% per point, it is now 3% per point. And again, this is doubled uh, in meta. So in meta, you'd have 12% Leech. Uh, this is actually a pretty big nerf. Um, going from 12, uh, 20 to 12 is like a massive difference. That's, it's like 8%, it's way more than that. I think it's almost 50, I think it's like 40 something. I'm not doing the math off the top of my head, obviously. I think it's a 40% reduction, which is like crazy. Um, so that's pretty big. I guess it's less than what gear got, but still kind of crazy. But this is pretty uniform across the board here uh, with uh, leech nerf. So that's pretty good there. And then coming down here, this is it. This is it. This is all Demon Under God. So Eldrachi Griever, Art of the Glaive, Soul Fragment Threshold, uh, reduced to 30. Now this is for Vengeance. Havocs, of course, is at six, um, changing six doesn't really change anything. So this just makes it more easy to activate for Vengeance. I believe they're using that in single target. So that's pretty good for them. Nothing for Havoc. There are probably four, not 400. There's, there's a lot of things that could be changed for Havoc right now. Um, we are actually just straight up being ignored. We're the only class um, for Demon Hunter in general. to have received zero changes besides nerfs. Um, the, only, the stuff only changes we have gotten is a nerf to soul rending, although I guess everybody's being changed, so this is more of a design change. Um, and then Vengeance got a nerf to sigils and a nerf to the duration of Sigil of Misery. And that is it. Otherwise, it's just hero talent stuff, nothing else. You're gonna be saying, but Voodoo, Shaman's gonna get, hasn't gotten changes yet. They got a post saying it's coming out next week. We've gotten nothing. So I'm frustrated, I'm upset. There's a lot of stuff that could be fixed with Havoc. We are in a pretty abysmal state right now lots of things aren't really working one of our trees is completely dead the other tree isn't very fun and is just incredibly strong um we're going back to a play style that is really not great but scales super well with haste now so it's going to completely choke out any other play style option that's like multiple percentage points ahead um so we're in a pretty bad spot so i'm gonna save this rant for a video either tomorrow or thursday depending on when i can make it um but yeah so that's kind of it for demon hunter um, if you're here for the Havoc stuff, that's the video. So like, comment, and subscribe, I guess. And um, with that out of the way, uh, let's move on to Survival Hunter because I want to feel happy and I want to feel some joy for once in my life. Well, not once in my life, but uh, once in this beta cycle while covering Havoc Demon Hunter. It just doesn't give it. So, Hunter, I guess. Hey, maybe I'll be happier now. And we have some changes and these ones are actually seem pretty good. So we'll go through these notes here, then we'll check out the tree. Um, so new talent, Black Rock Munitions, Explosive Shot damage increased by 8%. For Survival Hunter, Explosive Shot is actually a lot of your damage. Um, now there was a thing, we're not sure if it's a bug or if it's intended, where that one node, I think it's like Explosive Juggler, I'll, we'll go over it, was applying Explosive Shot from Bomb. It rolled independently for each uh, target, which uh, made a lot more Explosive Shots, but this is just a lot of damage. Um, they've added a new trap as well, uh, that instead of a knock back from Expo is a knock up, which is really good. It gives you a group stop. Now it's a trap, which makes it kind of weird, but theoretically in a Mythic Plus like pack, you should be able to use this um, pretty well, honestly. But um, that's a choice now now of explosive traps, so even knock back or knock up, similar to how shamans have that with the uh, the thunder thing that strikes down to them. Um, they've re-summoned territorial instincts, casting in Tim without an active pet, summons one from your stable, sure. Uh, move some talent nodes around. Uh, added connections and then remove steel trap and death shop room now this is fine uh steel trap was never really used at its worst it's a rotational button which i think most people don't like um and then death shock room a lot of people did enjoy it but um honestly i think it's for the best um survivals i don't know about the other hunters but survival specifically had a way too many buttons and this was just kind of a button you never really used a uh, very high frequency before you used your buttons um kind of didn't really do anything so by removing this does they allow us to bake the lost power in each specs kit while reducing button presses, which I think is really good. So um, honestly, you you can notice the fury loss a little bit, but I think overall this is a great change. Um, other hunters got changes, but of course survival got the most changes because it's the best hunter spec. So 
Survival, Sikkim has been redesigned. Kill Command has a 15% chance to reset the cooldown of Kill Shot and make it usable in hard targets regardless of health and also strike up to two additional targets. Chances double during CA. So beforehand, um, what this did was allowed, I think, Kill Command to reset or Kill Shot to reset Kill Command or maybe vice versa, one of those two. I don't fully remember off the top of my head. I'll throw a picture up probably. Um, but this is actually pretty good now. So whenever you use Kill Command, you have a chance to just reset Kill Shot and have it spread and also have it uh, usable anywhere. This doesn't have any usage with Coordinated Shot anymore. We'll get to that rework uh, unless you already read it, I guess. Um, this should be a pretty interesting and nice single target and AOE boost. Kill Shot does a lot of damage for Rival Hunter. Um, so I like this. We'll see where it ends up. There's a lot of nodes you want to take, but uh, pretty good rework to this. Uh, CA initial damage increased by 60%. Sure. And it's also been redesigned. You and your pet charge your enemy, striking them for combined physical damage. You and your pet's bond is then strengthened for 20 seconds, causing you and your pet to deal 20% increased damage. While this is activated, Kill Command's chance to reset its own cooldown is increased by 15%. Um, I like this. So this does make it a pretty boring cooldown. Uh, it's just a 20% damage amp, which I guess is fine. Uh, you also get some extra stuff. There's other talents that can bake into it. Um, but I think this works a lot better. There were a lot of weird rotational things with old coordinated assault uh, on live now. There's like a macro you're supposed to use for pet attacks, um, which did get killed a little bit in um, the rework, but has now been killed completely because it's just a passive damage. I think this is a pretty good uh, middle ground to end up on. Um, I think it feels pretty good. So their note is that its previous iteration has been very complex relative to its output, which is very true. It was really complex and the output was like, meh. There were builds on live right now where you just wouldn't take it and have like similar damage. Their goal with this change is to simplify its effects, increase the power gain from it, and also disjoint it from kill shot. So you can opt into kill shot bonuses as you see fit, which again is really good. And you see this up here with Sikkim. We also believe that the increased Kill Command reset chance will be more broadly appealing with the new talents introduced in the update. This is true. Kill Command has a ton more talents uh, with it now. Um, it resetting, it used to do the explosive shot stuff. It's a little different now, we'll get to that. But just using Kill Command has so much synergy with the spec now that I think this increased reset from this and also resets um, from just everywhere else will be pretty good. Um, I like this. We'll see how it plays on, on, on beta, of course, but overall pretty good. Symbiotic Adrenaline has been updated. Additionally, causes CA to grant three stacks at the tip of the spear. So this just gives you more burst when you use CA and means you uh, don't have some weird setup stuff. So I like this. Quick Shot has been updated. Now has a 30% chance to fire a shot when you cast Kill Command. So this beforehand was whenever you reset it. Um, this is better. This beforehand was a 30% chance and like a 30% chance. But by having this just always activate, I do like that. Or not always activate, but just be on Kill Command shots is really good. But your damage doubled, sure. Flanking Strike now replaces Kill Command after you cast it three times, has an increased range, no longer benefits from tip, and generates 15 focus. So they've reworked Flanking Strike. Now, I don't know how I feel about this. I liked Flanking Strike and where it was. I get that they're reducing the button bloat, which is cool. Um, but I did like new Flanking Strike. I don't know if that necessarily was the button to reduce. Um, so what happens now is every third Kill Command uh, will get replaced with Flanking Strike. Um, which is fine. Uh, it doesn't cost a charge to use. Charges generate even while you have flanking strike up. Uh, this still generates two stacks at tip of the spear, but no longer benefits from it, which is similar to kill command. Uh, but now the issue with this is that it doesn't benefit from kill command talents. So there's a lot of talents that work with kill command usage, that work with kill command resets, that work with kill command applying bleeds. Um, this doesn't work with them. So I think they either really should uh, revert this or make it so that it works with all those talents. But um, I get why they're doing it, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Flanker's Advantage no longer grants additional reset chance based on your crit strike. Uh, this effect also had a bug that was causing you to roll for kill command resets twice per cast of it, which was creating more kill command resets. Uh, that's fine. We have enough resets, I think, in the tree with like CA being changed and a few other things. So I think this is okay. Uh, Mongoose's Bite has basically been reworked as well. Duration now refreshes, max stacks reduced to three, and duration reduced to 10 seconds. So what this does now is there's no longer Mongoose Bite windows. There's now just Mongoose Bite and the maintenance buff. Um, overall, I think this does increase the damage of Mongoose Bite, but I think it does really dumb it down. So here it says the previous design of Mongoose Bite was rewarding you for pressing nothing but it in your damage windows, while the new tip of the spear is asking you to weave in kill commands. These two designs are pulling your rotation in two separate directions, and these adjustments should help to harmonize these two mechanics. Well, I do agree with this. I don't know if this is necessarily the direction I would go with. I think Mongoose Bite Windows were a very unique aspect of survival and a very fun one. 
I think this does help simplify the rotation, which is really good. Maybe newer players of Survival would really find this appreciative. I mean, I guess I'm a bit of a newer player, but I really enjoyed Mongoose Bite Windows. They've been around forever. Um, so a bit sad to see that go, but I do think uh, I, I agree with where they're going. Uh, Mongoose Bite Windows and Tip of the Spear stuff didn't really work that well together. Um, and Mongoose Bite and AoE work, didn't work that much at all either. So this is an increase for that in AoE. Bit of a decrease in single target, I think, but probably going to be end up being net neutral. Um, overall good, but a little sad, I think, to see that go. Wildfire Infusion's Kill Command Reset Chance reduced. Wildfire Infusion's Bomb Cooldown Reduction reduced to half a second. Uh, this is them just making reductions to their action comedy, which is fine. Um, tons of bombs still, you don't won't really feel this, um, at least from my opinion. Uh, many effects consuming multiple stacks to put the spear fixed. Good, good bug. And then Spearhead now only makes your pet your pet charge. Its description updated and its visuals and sound effects updated. We'll show it off in game when we look at the tree, uh, probably. But overall, uh, good stuff here. Obviously, you having to charge to your target sucked. Um, you do have stuff like that with like kill um, flanking strike and coordinate assault and whatever. So good change. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, really happy with survival changes. We're gonna jump and look at the tree. Wish Havoc got stuff like this, but here we are. All right, hello everybody. So here we are on the beta. Uh, tree changes, I don't even remember what changed here. Uh, I don't know, nothing changed. Uh, most notable thing is that this is here now. Um, otherwise there's like some small pathing stuff. This is the new explosive trap node. I don't remember what else changed up here. I don't think it matters too much. Um, but the big stuff is the small changes here. So this is the rework here. Casting Kill Command has the chance to uh, make Kill Shot usable everywhere. Um, so I, what I want to show here is I do want to show the new um, spearhead thing. So we'll just like remove all the butchery stuff and just, I don't know, click buttons. There we go. I don't know, clicking buttons, clicking buttons here. So basically uh, the real new changes are to flanking strike and to spearhead those are only visible changes you'll be able to see there are other stuff as well but those are the visible ones so first things first here is uh spearhead i can see in the bottom left or i guess i'll just go here tooltip is changed you give the signal and your pet charges your target instead of you and your pet charging the target so when i push it i guess we can zoom in hello zoom in i can uh, hide my hide my ui no oh well so we'll push it and we'll have our pet charge target. Boop, I just point at him, goes in, does it. Easy, right? Then we'll just uh, push kill command. So one, two, three, and you'll see it's now replaced with flanking strike. And I use it, I jump in. So I do think the flanking strike change um, is sucks. It's going, it can really get you killed. Um, doesn't work with any of the kill command talents. It's kind of weird. I do wish they just kept it normal because um, now it does lock you out from kill command, which is very, very important. And eh. But um, yeah, I mean, nothing else changes too significantly. That was kind of just what I was going to show you here. Um, pack leader still basically non-functional. There's some stuff here that works now, but essentially still non-functional. So there you go. Survival changes. Woo! All right. Well, that is the video. Um, yeah, it sucks. There's no havoc stuff. I don't know what to say. We'll have a video of me. I don't know, complaining, ranting, going over what I want to see changed. Uh, later this week, um, Survival Hunter, really fun. Really recommend you guys check it out. There will be content of it, more content of it on the channel. Uh, super sick. So there you go. At the time this goes up, uh, I'll probably be going live. I'm going live tonight to look at the beta stuff on the server, probably like an hour, um, if you're watching this when it comes out. If not, I'll be live Wednesday night at 8 p.m. doing reclear on Havoc. Thursday at like 2 p.m. doing uh, raid testing on Havoc, and then Friday, maybe i'll be live and we'll try and do some dungeon changes m plus got basically reworked with the affixes and it looks really fun uh we'll see if anyone's testing them but probably will be maybe we'll do a, a survival dungeon hunt havoc dungeon stuff like that so uh yeah make sure you like comment subscribe comment down below are you doing for havoc are you hyped for survival really dual dual things here but uh yeah there we go so thank you everybody so much see you guys next time peace a big thank you to all of my channel members thank you sky elk Andrew Keenel, 100,001 Zans, Brad Wisniak, Felfa Darren Dark Terror, and MagicMan133. Thank you all so, so much. If you want to help support me and help fund the channels and the videos, follow the link in the description to become a channel member and get some cool perks in the process. Again, thank you all so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.